come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep. Our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep. Our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. You see, a man with the name of Jesus cannot be contained. You see, with walls or anything, doors, every door shall be open because the Bible says that he who the Lord sets free is free indeed. Happy New Year! It's 2013. Get piloted by the Word with your favorite devotional, Rhapsody of Realities. Journey with us to Texas in the United States of America. We're coming all the way from Texas, the Lone Star State. Welcome once again to your favorite daily devotional program. As we explore the January edition of Rhapsody of Realities, the big responsibilities are given to those that are faithful. Where his pride and joy, that faith talks. It actually speaks. It calls out those things that be not as though they were. Stay tuned. Happy New, New Year. Year! We're coming all the way from Texas, the Lone Star State. My name is Deacon Chris, and this is Anna Maria. Hi, Deacon. Hello. Hi, viewers all over the world. I'm excited to be here today with you all to share the Rhapsody of Realities. It's 2013. This year is starting off so great because every day I wake up, I read my Rhapsody. It's blessing my life. I'm sure it's blessing your life yes, as well. So I definitely want to encourage every one of you to get your copies of the Rhapsody of Realities. You can do so by visiting our website or giving us a call. I guarantee that you don't want to miss any single day because you're guaranteed to have a forward and upward life this year and always with your Rhapsody. Of realities. Amen. Now today is Friday, January fourth, and Pastor Chris says, "Put the name to work."、Hmm. Now we're going to take a short break, so stay tuned because when we return, we're going to learn about putting the name to work. You are watching Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional Program. Stay tuned. In 2013, get ready. God will be speaking every day through the Rhapsody of Realities, guiding you along the path of success in over 180 languages. Anyone and indeed everyone can be skillful in the world of righteousness. Get the January edition of Rhapsody of Realities today and be a step ahead in the year 2013. Call now to place your order, or online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome back to today's edition of Rhapsody of Realities, your favorite daily devotional program. Today is Friday, January fourth, and Pastor Chris is sharing with us. Put the name to work. The opening scripture is taken from First John chapter five, verse thirteen. And it reads, "These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God." Hallelujah. Pastor Chris says, "Notice the underlying construction." The Apostle John says that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. He's simply saying, "Put the name of Jesus to work." Praise God! Wow, how much more simple can you get? Put the name of Jesus to work. You have it. Use it. Amen. And you know, many people they say that, oh, I know this, I know that, but no one is doing 
And like Pastor Chris is telling us, put the name to work. Mm -hmm. And in the book of First John 5.13, as Pastor read, it says, that ye may know that ye have eternal life mm -hmm. and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So believing is not enough. Your believing has to have corresponding action. You mm -hmm. have to do something because faith without works it's is dead. dead. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pastor Chris goes on to say, the name of Jesus is the name that opens every door in every mm. city and every nation. Hallelujah. Wow. That's the name you need for a life of consistent victory anywhere. For example, when Jesus gave the Great Commission in Mark 16, verse 15 to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, it was in his name. Mm. He gave us his name, and that's bigger than the whole world. Praise God. Wow, we have a really big world. Amen. <laughs> but we have an even bigger God. Amen. Amen. You know, the first statement of that second paragraph says, The name of Jesus is the name that opens every door in every city mm. in every nation. So it's in the name of Jesus that every barrier is broken. Oh, yeah. You see, a man with the name of Jesus cannot be contained. You see, with walls or anything, doors, every door shall be open. Because the Bible says that he who the Lord sets free is free indeed. Praise God. Mm, amen. That's the name that you need for a life of consistent victory anywhere. So that means that that's our assured victory. Amen. Everywhere we go, anything that we do. Amen. amen. Pastor Chris says, Philippians 2 and 10 says, At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. This is the reason you can be comfortable in any place, any city, region, or nation. You're on a divine assignment, sent forth not in your own name, but in the matchless name of Jesus. Praise God. You see, like you read, Philippians 2 verse 10 says, At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow mm -hmm. of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Mm -hmm. Wow. So everything with a name, you see, must obey. It must bow to the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So whatever sickness or disease the doctors have diagnosed you with, when you come in the name of Jesus, that disease, whatever it is, it oh, must yeah. obey and must oh, bow yeah. to the name of Jesus. And it will leave your body. Praise God. Amen. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back to share more of today's Rhapsody of Realities.